you. Danielle, first of all, congratulations on the IPO. I know these must be very exciting times. A lot of shoppers will have heard about accessible or affordable luxury. A lot of investors will have heard about it, but how do you define it and how much can this market grow in the next five to ten years? Well, well, thank you very much. Actually, a very exciting moment for the company. Um, we see a lot of growth potential clearly in the next, uh, in the next years. Uh, how do we define accessible luxury? Well, really, it's, uh, it's a category that's between, let's say, luxury and more fast fashion. And we're able, with our brands in any case, blend the codes, what we say, blend the codes of fast fashion and those of luxury. Very uh, on-trend, high-quality products at affordable prices. And this is a, a very, very powerful segment and one that's growing worldwide. Daniela, what's your biggest concern now that you're a listed company? I speak to a lot of CEOs. Some will say it's <laughs> attracting talent. Some will say it's geopolitics. I'm sure you're dealing with Brexit and the like. Is there a danger that you expand yeah. too soon, too much? Or is it a danger that actually you don't expand uh, you know, strong enough and therefore you lose market share? Yeah. No, listen, I think, I think what keeps me awake at night is, is, is more just staying very, very disciplined and very uh, focused on our priorities. We've got so much runway in front of the three brands, Sandro, Maj, and Claudie Pialo, that we need to stay very, very disciplined and execute our plan. And number two is, is making sure that we're able to absorb all this wonderful growth. You know, the brands and the group has grown on, on average 24% over the past three years. So very, very high growth rates, and we need to make sure that we're, we're supporting this growth. But in terms of potential, again, we're really at early stages uh, of each, of, each uh, of the brands today. Who's your customer, Daniel Lalonde? Is it people that used to shop at Chanel and Prada, or is it um, people that <laughs> you know, uh, want to shop at Zara but then put a little bit more and shop at your shops? Well, I think you, I think you described it perfectly well. I think... Given our accessible, um, accessible luxury prices and the value proposition, we see a lot of luxury customers in our stores. Um, and we also see, you know, with the emergence of the urban middle class, a lot of new customers stepping into our, our stores, a lot of uh, new customers into our brands. And also, as you mentioned, uh, the Zara customer, you know, every once in a while for a very special occasion will come to our stores. So our positioning enables us to cover, you know, a fairly wide range of the market. And, and we don't really define even in terms of age uh, our customer. She's well, what I call she's young, spirited, um, and, and, and ageless in, in many ways.